hey what is up guys welcome back to a new video and this is going to be a follow-up video of my previous video now in my previous video if you remember i unboxed and uh, set up this old stock new sony mini hi-fi component system mhc vx7 now this thing works perfectly fine except that this cd changer thing makes a lot of noise when you turn the system on and secondly i also tested the cassette deck the cassette decks are also non-functional so I think what has happened is over time, I mean, this system is from the year 1999. So it's almost like 19, 20 years old now. So I think what has happened is that the cogs or the belts might have uh, rotted away. So whenever you turn this thing on, it kind of makes this noise. Yeah, and the CD tray also does not eject. So the CD tray does not eject. And secondly, the cassette decks, both the cassette decks do not work. So what I did was I called up Sony and I asked them if they would fix this thing. I mean, it's a simple problem. And yeah, they told me that they do not fix any music system or any TV that's older than 10 years. Yeah, that's what they told me. And guys, I'm of the opinion that there should be a consumer protection law which mandates these companies to make these spare parts available for at least 25 years after these products have been discontinued. And this is not the first time I've had issues with Sony's after sales support. I've had a Sony Xperia Z3 and it had a little issue where the flash would bleed on the pictures whenever you turn the flash on. And these guys said that is normal. Not only that, when I argued with them further, they told me that the phone's software needs to be updated to solve this flash bleed problem. Holy crap guys, these Sony service center folks are really really incompetent and in my opinion, Sony has the worst after sales service support here in India. So guys, I think what I'll do here is I'll take the uh, uh, take this cover off and we'll see where the problem is. And then we'll most probably disable that motor because I don't really care about the uh, CD part. I mean, it's just audio CD. It's not even MP3 or DVD. And the cassette does not matter because I haven't used cassette in about like 10 years or so. So in the future to make this system work, I'll buy a little Bluetooth receiver plug it in on the back and then just play the uh, songs from the phone. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Well, I took the cover off and what do you know? There's your problem right over there. I mean, I didn't even have to power this thing on to know that uh, this motor right here was making noise. And guys, this is such a simple fix. All this thing needs is a belt. So this, oh, look at that. That belt has melted off. Like, you can see it's right over there. Yeah, this thing, yeah, filthy. But this motor turns this little thing here and that rotates this whole CD changer thingy. So, yeah, that thing is missing the belt and my finger is dirty. I gotta clean that up. But let's put power to it and see if this is the thing which is making the noise. Okay, so here we go. Yes, so this is the motor which is making noise. So if I manually try to stop it, the noise goes away. And this is such a simple fix, guys. I mean, all this thing needs is a pair of belts. I mean, there's, a, there's one belt here and one belt down over here. I checked the service manual and shame on you, Sony, for denying this repairs. I mean, I told the guy that all this thing needs is a couple of belts. I mean, that guy wasn't even, that guy at the Sony service center wasn't even uh, ready to hear what I wanted to say. And he was like, this system is more than 10 years old. We don't support it. So yeah, that's kind of sad. Such a simple fix. So I think I might even get this thing repaired. I mean, it's such a simple fix. Yeah, but for now, I think I might just close this and try and get this thing repaired locally. I mean, there's no, nothing wrong with it. It just needs a little belt. Uh, I think that's, that's a fairly cheap fix. At first, I thought it might be uh, uh, this uh, cog thingy might be broken. But yeah, this, this thing is completely fine. I mean, uh, this thing isn't even brittle or anything. Just, just the belts. Right, guys. So we are taking a look at the back of the cassette decks. So this is the front and this is the back side. And looks like the exact same thing has happened over here. You can see there's a part of the belt 
sticking on here in this roller you can see it here that's the part of the belt and most of the belts have actually all of the belts have broken off so you see there's a little part of the belt that is still sticking onto this roller and same thing happened over here so both the cassette decks are not working so I think all of the belts have rotted away in this system and this thing needs a new set of belts for the cassette deck and the CD player. Yeah, that's kind of sad because this thing is completely unused. But yeah. But talking about the quality, Sony has spared no expenses here. So you can see these uh, these caps are from Nippon Chemicon. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But so there you go these caps on the power amplifier part are from nippon chemicon top of the line capacitors and uh, these ones should not go bad anytime soon so let's zoom out here what else we can find yeah there are a couple of rubicons nichicons and that's a nichicon right there that's a nichicon cap yep there you go those are rubicon caps right there and that blue one is elna I mean, all of these are top of the line capacitors if you know your electronics. Rubicon, Nichicon, Elna, all of these are top of the line capacitors. So let's take a look at the power supply. You can see that huge ass transformer. And I probably shouldn't be touching this. This thing can still give you a nasty shock even when it's unplugged. And looks like the power supply also has a Rubicon cap. So yeah, look at all the fuses down there. Yeah, Sony has not spared any expenses on this stereo. Beautiful. Let's zoom in there. Man, look at that printed circuit board. Yeah, that's like pornography. Beautiful. Not sure what these wires are. Are these bodge wires? Looks like an afterthought. But hey, who cares? It works. That's a Mitsumi board. What is that? So those are the connectors over there for the FM and AM antenna. That Mitsumi board. So yeah, absolutely beautiful uh, construction here. Parts are high quality. I mean, Sony makes excellent products. I mean, these products are so freaking freaking durable. But yeah, if something happens to them, if anything breaks, after sale support services are bad. I guess Sony, Sony is like our products won't break. But yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the top here. So we've got a little, little board here that connects to these buttons, and these buttons also have LEDs in them. So that's what this little board does. And that's our problematic motor. It drives this thing and this whole CD changer tray thingy spins. And that's the video board. That's a Mitsubishi quad flat pack. So I don't know if you can read the um, number on the chip. Just pause the video if you want to read it. But that goes to uh, this video out here. And you also have that system select button NTSC auto and pal so we are taking a look at the other side of the board that's the front side and these quad flat packs are from Mitsubishi I hope you can read the model number as I can barely tell on the camera screen so just pause the video if you want to read this and that's the other one It seems like the uh, chip's model number has been raised or something purposely. And I think that's the power amplifier section. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it as it is and try and get the belts. I mean, those are the belts that came out and these belts have kind of become brittle. So if you just try and bend these they'll just break yeah see these should be uh, flexible so yeah that's the end of that 
but so what I'm gonna do is take this system to a local repair shop and might get this repaired it's a fairly easy fix tell you what so I'm kind of busy this entire month so I doubt I will be able to take this thing to the local service shop so I want this stereo to work for the next few days i want to test it out so what i've done is i've disconnected the power to this motor and actually i've disconnected the power to the entire cd player thingy um so let me show you what i've done i hope you guys can see it and i hope the camera can focus so you see these two wires uh, let me so you can see a wire goes here i've unplugged it and one of them goes here so i unplugged unplugged both of them and it looks like both of these carry the power and the uh, signals to the uh, CD changer thingy. So now the entire CD unit should be unpowered. And that will also cut the power to the motor, which was making a lot of noise. And once again, I don't really, I'm not really bothered about this CD thing because it's just a CD changer. It does not even have MP3. So there's no DVD or MP3 here. It just plays back audio CDs and video CDs. So even even if this thing is not available, it does not matter. So let's put power to this thing and see how it works. All right, so we've got power. So let's turn this thing on. All right, here we go. No more noise. So this motor is not spinning anymore. And I think the stereo will work fine. So what I'll do now is close this thing up and fire up these speakers and see if it works. So what if I change it over to CD? Nothing happens, right? So the LEDs are on. So you can see nothing is happening. So if I want to change it back to tuner, so this works. All right, so I'm going to cover this thing back up and we'll try playing some music and see if this thing works. But yeah, so far so good. The CD changer thing is not making any more noises. Okay, so got the stereo back together. Let's power this baby on and see what, what this thing does. And there you have it guys, no more grinding noise from the stereo CD player. Oh and by the way, I did look up the CD player belt, looks like it is available. The seller is located somewhere in Portugal. So I'll have to import this, but I don't really see myself paying $12 plus shipping. Then have to wait for about 4 to 5 weeks, then customs clearance. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather just disable the CD player and... Uh, buy one of these bluetooth audio receivers and have the bluetooth audio receiver plugged in into the system and just play some tunes off my phone that's way easier and if i was reselling this thing then i would fix it completely i would buy belts for the uh, uh, cassette deck and belts for the cd player but since i don't need the cassette deck or the cd player i will use this thing as um, use this thing on the auxiliary audio uh, in this thing it's called video but yeah that's that is the auxiliary audio so yeah this thing is completely fine plays back music yeah no problems and it's like 3 a.m in the morning so i'm not gonna play music too loud and look at this graphics thingy and that that is awesome now i know some ungrateful idiots gonna come along and comment that oh mp3 sucks auxiliary audio sucks audio cd is the best man yeah thumbs down yeah good on your mate keep living in the past and yeah keep sticking to your audio cds i've moved i've moved forward to mp3s and streaming songs from youtube you can stick to your favorite audio cds no problem yeah this trolling on youtube is a serious problem these days but Anyway, I'm quite happy about the system. It works, plays back music, no more grinding noise, and I'm quite happy with it. Check that out. Yeah, it's like 
3 a.m. in the morning. I shouldn't do this. But anyways, guys, what a little project this has been. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I will see you guys next time.